Michael Wiggy, a 33-year-old journalist who, as a foreign reporter, has always approached things from an unusual perspective. Whether checking the Japanese's bowing technique, testing the peace between Israelis and Palestinians, or living three weeks with the Yanomani native Indians in the Amazon rainforest, Wiggy is always good for a surprise. His latest project is his biggest challenge yet. Hello, I'm here on the outskirts of Berlin. And my goal is to travel to the end of the world without a penny of money in my pocket. To the end of the world. For Wiggy, that means Antarctica. 25,000 miles from Berlin. A 150-day journey without a penny in his pocket. An unorthodox trip with highs and painful lows. Penniless means free travel, free accommodation and free food. Free food donated in return for art jobbing or rummaging in the rubbish container. How long did it take? Half an hour? And all this would have cost at least 20 euros in the supermarket. Free travel means above all being creative in his means of transport. The bicycle tour is definitely over. I'm completely exhausted. Wiggy is helped on his way by over 100 people in 11 countries. He crossed penniless over four continents, and even in Colombia, it doesn't cost anything to ask. I have no idea where I will sleep tonight. Is it possible to stay in your house? What about on the sofa? Yeah, on the sofa is possible. What? I can sleep on the sofa? Really? <laughs> Along with amazing examples of people's willingness to help, Wiggy also comes across pessimists. I don't know how much of your trip you have organized in advance, or if you are really traveling like, hey, this is where I am now, let's see how I will survive. If so, then you won't get there. Even without a penny, Wiggy has one major assist, his creativity. Whether pillow fighting in San Francisco, a human sofa in Las Vegas, a butler for the German ambassador to Panama, or a suffering pack carrier to the ancient Inca town of Machu Picchu in Peru, it is always fun, even if it often hurts a lot. I'm over 4,000 meters and there is no air. I can't breathe. Despite minor and also not so insignificant difficulties, Wiggy came across fascinating cultures and breathtaking landscapes. And met extraordinary people, a crazy millionaire, communists, Amish farmers, alternative lifestylers and homeless people. Wiggy immersed himself in their world and learned a great deal about the meaning of money and himself. The most money I ever made was my least happiest time in my life. And when I was just making very little money my first year in the Air Force, I was actually extremely happy. To the end of the world without a penny is a thrilling experiment of a reporter finding out his limits and testing them to the full. A journey without money. A journey that shows less is sometimes more. And if Wiggy really manages it to Antarctica, find out for yourself. Ah!